Well, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy garbage day. I know I love this garbage truck. And uh, this morning, I just want to share, as I heard the garbage men come by, knowing that the clock had been put forward for spring, I'm grateful that, like the U.S. Postal Service, they are ones who diligently do their job faithfully, week after week after week, taking all the garbage and junk out of my home, out of your homes. And so being grateful for how God provides various people with various vocations to be able to provide services for us, uh, especially, uh, you know, on days when it's cold, on days when it's very early. Uh, just grateful today for those who serve. And I want to thank them and uh, send out many, many, many thanks for all their care and service in my life, as well as yours. Now, today's devotion, uh, since it's Tuesday and I talk about, you know, the garbage man, I would always think about how Jesus, our garbage man, takes away our sins. And so I'd focus on how God loves sinners, and that's exactly what today's devotion is about. I'm going to share with you a passage from Luke 15 and then a slight devotion on that. Luke 15, verses 1 and following. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told him this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he gathers all his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, rejoicing, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is more joy over the, before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Here ends the word of the Lord. Now, I love these passages because they refer to God's love, God's heartfelt desire, and that is to find lost sinners, to bring them into his fold, and to rejoice in all of heaven with their finding. Now, it's probably about five or six months ago, I do my Bible study prep for our Wednesday morning lectionary at lunch. Uh, when we get together, we say the lectionary at 1030 in the morning, and we have a really good group that's waned and, and grown quite a bit throughout the pandemic. But one of my uh, Bibles that I've cherished my whole life, it's one that I received when I was confirmed, I could not find. I've searched and uh, ransacked my office at church. I looked all over the house here uh, in our office where all of our books are kept. I could not find this Bible. It was one given to me by my father. It even had my name engraved on it uh, on the front cover when I was only 13 when I was confirmed. And it's a great Bible study or it's a great self-study Bible. Well, I looked and looked and looked. I emailed uh, the church back in Hawaii thinking maybe I left it there. Uh, they had not seen it, and I was getting very sad, very very desperate, thinking, where did this Bible go? Because it was one that I used through seminary. It's one that I used in all sorts of ways. It's one that I highlighted in and wrote in significantly. And then one day, as I was looking down in our basement, uh, not in where we keep our books, but in a little white uh, cabinet, I come across my Bible, yes, it's very worn. Uh, it's been rebound once or twice and still kind of falling apart. But I gratefully found this Bible and I was able to use it. And boy, the rejoicing. I called my wife immediately. She celebrated, I celebrated. We were all happy, could not share the joy in my heart in finding my lost Bible. Well, Jesus tells these stories about a woman, about a lost sheep. And the woman, she finds her lost coin. And we're not talking nickels or dimes or quarters here. This coin was probably closer to a dime in her eyes. In fact, it was probably part of a, a wedding dress ensemble, a, a crown that you would wear. And so she's happy when she finds it. She's overjoyed. And she calls her friends and neighbors to come celebrate with her. With the shepherd, well, he has 99 who remain with him, but that one is lost and he can't allow that one to be lost. It's so precious to him. That when he finds it, and if he goes out searching, he puts it on his shoulders, carries it back home and says, rejoice with me. Well, this is how God feels about us. Jesus says, looking at that wording here, 
There is joy before the angels of God over those sinners who repent. You see, it's God himself who does rejoicing while the angels look on. I mean, that's what it says. The angels, there's joy before the angels of God. It's God who is overjoyed. He celebrates. Just like I celebrate, I found my lost Bible. You see, when human beings sinned, they cut themselves off from God way, way back in the Garden of Eden. And it wasn't just a tragedy for us. It was a deeply felt loss for God himself. He loved people and he, that he had made, and he wasn't content to lose even one of them. That's why he came to earth, to be one of them, a human being, the man Jesus Christ. Jesus took on our humanity, he took on our sin, he took on our suffering, he took on our death, and he made them all his own. He lost his own life so that he could find each of us. And he rose from the dead to give us life forever, never to be lost again. Now that's something worth celebrating, something that God celebrates. He celebrates every time a sinner is found. And so for us today, who recognize that we are sinners, we celebrate that we have been found by our Lord. And we know how much joy is there. And as we go out and we share his gospel, as we go out and share his love with others, we can join in that same celebration as more and more people are, are found by the Lord, as more and more people hear his word, as they come back repenting. And we know that in heaven there is a, a huge party in their honor. So consider that today of how God sees you when you come back to him repenting of your sin and how God sees all sinners as they come back repenting, trusting in the mercy of God. So that was the devotion I want to share today. It's uh, one that always reminds me as I focus on the, the garbage man, but boy, I got to tell you, there was so much joy having found my Bible. Like I said, if you uh, have your own personal Bible, this one, I have uh, earmarks, I have highlights, I have marks, I, I have everything because it's one that I've been using for many years, many scribbles and the like. But it is one that has served me very well throughout the years of my life. And um, yeah, grateful to have it back. Just as the same way the Lord is grateful to have his dear children back. So let's bow our heads in time of prayer. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you love each and every one of us so dearly that when we wander away in our sin, you desperately seek us out through your word. You call to us, and Lord, you, you cause us to repent. And through that action, Lord, there is rejoicing, knowing that you have found us again, knowing that you carry us back on your shoulders and you say to everyone, rejoice and celebrate with me. So the celebration, the joy that you have is resonated with the angels, is resonated with us, your beloved children. Help us, Lord, today and every day to always live lives of repentance, seeing our sins, fleeing from our sins, and fleeing to you. And Lord, help us to help others to hear your word and also be drawn to repentance so they might truly be embraced and beloved not only by you, but by us as well. Bless each of us during this Lenten season, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining me this morning, all the way from Massachusetts. Wow, Ray, you're really traveling today. And uh, Ray, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for your support of our Galilee youth and uh, the memories you shared about your uh, youth gathering when you were younger. I won't say how many years ago that was, but it's great to see you this morning. You too, Gail, and oh, it's nice to, have all of you guys, as I see the names pop up on my computer screen here. Well, have a wonderful day in the Lord. Have a wonderful Lenten season as we focus on repentance and the wonderful love of our God. Just a reminder, there is our services tomorrow at noon and seven. And we also have uh, lunch at 1230 and we have dinner at 6 p.m. So if you're able to join us, please do, whether in person or online as we study the, the parables of Jesus, as we heard two of them this morning, we're gonna hear two of them tomorrow. The pearl of great price and the treasure hidden in a field. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Know that I love you and aloha.